Namaste, Soul Tribe, Spiritual Healer, back to give you guys a message. Hi, my beautiful Aries, my baby bosses, my kings and queens. I love you guys. Hope you guys are well and safe. Let's get right into your reading, okay? Um, sage, that's the first thing I heard when I sat down. When I sat down at my desk, I was about to record your video, but the first thing I heard from Spirit, my ancestor said sage. Sage, sage, sage. Okay, so maybe you recently saved your energy, saved your space, because there was some sort of dark energy around you. Uh, I want to like, I would like to share with you guys some of my experiences that I've been having because this might resonate with you guys. You might, you guys might be experiencing these things at this time. It is very like supernatural right now. Um, a lot of dark, dark energies at work right now in your love life. A lot of dark energies at work right now with your finances, it, with your career at the workplace. A lot of dark energies surrounding your communities, all right, your environment where you live, your neighborhoods, okay, with your neighbors too for some of you guys, co-workers, weird things happening, people acting funny, sage, okay, so with this sage, I clear out my energy to protect me from any lower vibrational energies or entities trying to attach as I deliver this message to you guys, and anybody sending me evil eyes or negative energies, May it be sent back to the sender. Clear this energy out for me and my beautiful Aries collective. You could be Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, or Venus. You could be Aries um, anywhere in your chart. You could have Aries placement. You could be watching, um, cross-watching for an Aries. Welcome. Okay, this reading might resonate. Take the messages that resonate with you and leave the messages that don't resonate with you for somebody else. All right, so let's get right into this message. Something weird is going on here. Okay, because I, I, I'm picking up on the energy of your ex is finding out that you're dating somebody new or that somebody new is coming to bring you an offer. Okay, for some of you guys, not all of you guys, this is happening. Not all of you guys are dealing with this, like I said before. But for somebody and some of you guys watching, your ex found out that you are dating somebody new. Okay, and your ex is feeling some type of way. Even though this ex is with a karmic, even though this ex did the most to betray you, even though this ex said a lot of things about you in the community that weren't true, even though this ex pretended that, you know, this ex pretended that the that the grass was greener with the karmic, that they were doing so much better than you when they walked away with the karmic, okay? For some of you guys, this ex is delusional, this ex is uh, under judgment, okay? So I picked up on an argument that was happening in somebody's house, okay? So Because I, I heard a whole argument as I was channeling this message, so I'm going to let you guys know. I've been having a lot of strange dreams, okay? So I'm going to tell you what I heard, what the conversation that I heard was an argument, all right? And it was two people arguing, and I heard a female saying, let me see your phone, let me see your phone, why don't you let me see your phone? And the other person's like, no, what's wrong with you? Leave me alone. No, you're not going to look at my phone. And somebody's like, Hi, like they're like tussling for the phone. So, so I picked up on this energy earlier when I was sharing this message that your ex and the karmic, they could be, your ex could be a male or female. It doesn't matter. But your ex could be arguing with the karmic. There was an argument that happened, a conversation, an altercation. This uh, is because your ex was hiding their phone from their karmic. They were being very secretive. This ex was checking up on you or having conversations about you with somebody else. Or this ex was mess text messaging you. And if you didn't receive these messages, then this ex could have been text messaging your old number if you changed your number recently or you did change your number since you guys broke up and this person was with a whole other person. Your ex could be conversating with somebody else about you or just checking up on you on social media. Your ex could have a, a, a second uh, Instagram or Facebook account, some sort of second account. This person has a secret account, and this karmic didn't know about. So the karmic became, became suspicious um, about this ex of yours when this ex kept on hiding their phone, being secretive, staying out of the house a lot uh, late at night, or just trying to avoid this, this karmic altogether. They're not sleeping together, they're not having sex, or something's going on in their connection where this ex of yours is withdrawn. This ex found out that you are on a platform, or this ex found out that you're seeing somebody new, or this ex found out that somebody that they know is going to make you an offer. This ex found, could have found out that you're having a major glow up and you're successful. Whatever this ex found out about is the reason why they were so obsessed and, and um, trying to get a hold of you or trying to spy on you, trying to figure out how they can communicate to you even though they're with this karmic and this karmic be all up in their 
in their face, in their business, following them around, checking on their phone. So your ex has um, an argument with their karmic about you. Okay, and this could have been happening last night. This could be happening over the weekend, but this is something I already tapped into. Yep, and this ex is feeling some type of way. This karmic is also feeling some type of way. And you are over here unbothered. You don't have nothing to do with this person. You're not doing anything to try to get this person's attention. Like I said before, you could be seeing somebody new or you're about to be seeing somebody new. Somebody new is in your energy here. Heavy in your energy. So this ex is obsessed and figuring, trying to figure out how they're going to get a hold of you because they left the karmic's house or they left the house because the karmic wanted their phone. This karmic is... is freaking out this karmic could have threatened them that they were going to come towards you that they were they were going to get a hold of you that they were going to threaten you that they were going to tell you their secrets something's going on here something's if you guys are about to hear from this ex or this karmic or both of them the, this karmic's going to try to reach out to you before this ex gets a hold of you okay wow Someone else has been talking to their ex too, okay? So if you're dealing with somebody, this message could resonate with you the other way around. If you're seeing somebody new or you're seeing somebody here and you've been dealing with this person or you just started to get to know this person, whatever the case may be, this person could be talking to their ex again because their ex found out about you. Now their ex is hitting up their phone, trying to get involved with this person again, trying to have this person go sleep with them or you know, get back with them so they can walk away from you. So somebody's ex is trying to sabotage your relationship or your connection with somebody new. And if you're having a suspicion that this person's ex might be reaching out because this person's ex found out about you and them, um, this could be happening. Somebody could be receiving phone calls or text messages on the low from their ex. They don't know how to let this ex go or they don't know how to block this ex or they're falling for this ex, for the temptation with this ex. Be mindful so you don't get hurt and you're not involved in a in a love triangle or you're not stuck in the middle of the situation. This could resonate with you or somebody that you're dealing with is going through this, okay? Or this is like the other way around. Your ex and their karmic are arguing with you over there and you don't know nothing about this because you're not dealing with this person. But they're, they were planning to come towards you. For somebody else, you're dealing with somebody that's talking to their ex or their ex is trying to come between your connection, one or the other, okay? Then I heard the bag lady. I heard the bag lady, okay? So somebody here could be the bag lady, somebody here you could, you know, this could be you or somebody you're dealing with, somebody here designs designer designs purses or bags for a business, or you were thinking about having a business idea, somebody here loves purses or bags, okay, someone else always has a big purse, somebody you're dealing with, this could be you or someone you're dealing with, they could carry a big purse all the time with a big bag around their shoulder, um, this could be someone you're dealing with, all right, or this could be you, confirmation for something. Different designer purses, somebody here has different designer purses, they love having different designer bags, all right, or somebody here is designing purses or bags, okay? And then I heard, if the shoe fits, wear it, okay? I heard that too. Somebody here uh, is feeling some type of way because this karmic is watching everything you do, everything you post online, and this karmic is feeling like everything you say or do is about them. Everything that you say or do is towards them. All right. But this karmic is delusional because you don't, you're not even talking to this karmic. You're not even pressed. You're not even bothered or worried about this person and that they're watching everything you do online. If you post content, if you post, you know, information, if you just put um, a regular random post up, whatever you're posting, whether it's content or a regular post on social media or online somewhere, this karmic is watching everything you post and do, feeling some type of way, feeling some type of way, da -da -da, some type of way, I don't know what song that is, but this person's feeling some type of way, all right, but you're not even worried about this person, all right, you're just doing you, I'm doing me, I'm living life right now, and this is what I'm going to do till it's over, till it's over, and it's far from over, that's right, I'm doing me, I'm living life right now, so you guys are busy doing you, that's all I know, because I heard Drake, I'm doing me, somebody's upset that you're doing you, that you're doing good, that you're living life, that you're unbothered, this person is pressed about you, has been sending you a lot of evil eye, that's why I said, light your sage, clear your space, because this person is like furious that you are unbothered, you're paying them no mind. But at the same time, this person is watching everything you do and feeling some type of way. Feeling like you're just uh, directly speaking to them or whatever you post or you say is about them. So now they're 
conjuring up some some work or they're paying for some work to be done on you because they feel like that everything you say or do is about them this karmic is delusional they have a dark entity attachment this dark entity tells this karmic that everything you say or do is about them this karmic is under possession demonic possession because of all the evil energy that they sit in that they stew in and all the uh like grudges that they hold on people or they blame everybody for everything that happens to them i don't know what's up with this person this could be a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. Doesn't have to be. This could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. This could also be another Aries, Leo, uh, Aries, or another Fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sag. Let's get into this message. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So. Sudden awareness, okay? Choosing happiness. So you have a sudden awareness about a situation with an individual that left you out in the cold on purpose, that they made you, they wanted you to feel isolated, alone, and um, this person wanted you to feel rejected, okay? You're having a sudden awareness of somebody doing something strategically to you on purpose, so you had to withdraw your energy. This is what you're doing. You could be withdrawing your energy from a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or this is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that's withdrawing their energy from a karmic. Okay, take it how it resonates. All right, deception, manipulation, all talk, no action. Okay, so somebody's all talk, no action, or somebody's like deceptive and manipulative, and they're this person is like this person is like giving people bad information or telling people lies about you, or this is somebody that you, you disconnected from, you blocked. This person is giving people lies about you, trying to manipulate somebody else to work up against you or to uh, not give you an offer. This is somebody that, like I said, they can't stand you, but they watch you every everything you do. Like seriously, they can't stand to see you or hear your voice, but they watch everything you do. Wow, this is crazy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody that's very immature. Let me get my glasses so I can read this card because I have, have blurry vision. So let me get my glasses on. Okay. So this is uh, some sort of financial wealth or security that you have been manifesting for yourself. You could be manifesting this relationship, somebody new that you're talking to, or a new connection, a relationship, a firm foundation. All right? Because you took a leap of faith and you made a decision for a new beginning because you want something new, not something old, because this you're not playing this person's mind games no more. You're not going back and forth with this person. This person could still be attached to this, somebody that they were dealing with or seeing or an ex or a karmic. All right? So you took back your power and your energy. And the Knight of Cups is that somebody's very romantic. They have a beautiful imagination. They see you as very beautiful and, and, and you have this beautiful energy to you. This person is intrigued by you. This person is impressed by you. This person is attracted to you. This person is following their heart to come give you an offer, a romantic offer or gesture. This could be somebody much younger than you for some of you guys. All right, for some of you guys, this person could be around your same age or a little older. But I feel like for the most part, this person is like youthful energy. They could be younger or they have this youthful energy to them. And now somebody's under judgment. This could be another Aries. They're under judgment in the reverse, all right? This person was very controlling, domineering, deceptive. They didn't have no self-discipline. They were rigid and stubborn and violent and rude. And this is the person that is over here watching everything you do, thinking that you're talking about them, everything you say is about them. They're feeling rejected or a situation is not working out for this person. doesn't have to be an Aries, but the emperor in reverse. The emperor is Aries energy. So some of you guys could be dealing with Aries or some of you guys are just not happy. You're not making the right choices or you need to make a different choice. You need to get yourself out of a stagnant, stuck situation because somebody has been projecting this energy, making you feel afraid of taking a leap of faith or just making you feel um, stagnant. All right. You got to transmute that energy for somebody that you're dealing with another Aries. This person thought that their strategy against you was going to work, that they were going to manipulate somebody else into uh, not not giving you an offer, not working with you. Somebody was trying to delay some sort of opportunity for work. Uh, they was trying to block you from having a work opportunity, all right, because they gave false information about you. Or they was trying to block your love life by trying to give false information to somebody else about you or getting to somebody's head. But the chariot here is fast forward movement, progress, action, okay? You're determined, your willpower, all right? A new direction, departure. Somebody's leaving somewhere and they're getting in their car and they're leaving so fast. You know, this person is out, all right? And this could be you just walking away from a situation and leaving a situation, getting in your car and driving away, 
or you can even be picked up by somebody and getting out of a situation or this is somebody that's coming towards you very very quickly because they're determined they uh they know what they want and they know that you and them you guys have a sacred connection or that you guys have a destined connection they just want to come towards you or you want to leave a situation quickly all right yeah six of swords you're leaving a situation or this uh ex of yours is gonna have to leave a situation because this karmic is bound to get in their phone this karmic is bound to find out what they've been up to or they uh, did find out what they were up to when they were spying on you watching you following you around trying to keep you binded and stuck with devil energy this could be a capricorn Taurus, or virgo somebody's taking a financial loss because they wanted you to be stuck in mental prison all right this person didn't want you to make the right choices and decisions. They wanted you to be confused in fear, all right? Mm -mm -mm. This person is having some sort of mental breakdown, all right? Yeah. Anything else? Yeah, but you get karmic justice, fairness, truth, and clarity. You stand for truth. You stand for justice, all right? You're always fair. You have the clarity that you need. You have the balance that you need to have balance. It requires you to have balance. Because there's some sort of cause and effect, the law of cause and effect, all right? So somebody was involved in some reckless behavior. Reckless behavior. Reckless behavior. That's what I heard, that song. Somebody was involved in some reckless behavior. Now they got to pay the consequences. This person really thought they was going to get away with doing something here, but they're not. They're under judgment or they have to go to court. Somebody's in the Ten of Swords. All right, because they fabricated something here or they did something too quickly without thinking because this person it was in their demonic energy, mm, the moon. Yeah, this person wanted to test your faith. This person wanted to uh, destroy you. This person wanted to have a whole bunch of people come up against you or to, uh, wow, this person was like making you feel defensive. This person was very persistent, but now they're tired, okay? This person's tired. You got this person weak because you're too powerful. You're too resilient. You transmute energies. You're moving forward for the Ten of Pentacles, and somebody thought they delayed something. Wow, this ex is under judgment too. They're losing sleep because now they recognize your worth and value. Now they realize that the karmic never... Uh, never compared to you wow the will of fortune they see you receiving a lot of money or wealth or you're attracting this like i said somebody here starting your own business creating something you're going this this is going to bring you a lot of money and stability or somebody owes you a lot of money and you're about to receive you're about to receive this direct deposit all right so stand your ground being very guarded right now doing a lot of grounding meditations and the nine of cups get, receiving gifts and reward from the most high all right, mm, for taking your ancestors' advice or something like that or clearing out your energy. You did that right on time. All right, so I've been having a lot of weird dreams, all right? I've been having weird dreams about somebody cheating. I've been having weird dreams about somebody coming into my energy, trying to check my phone, trying to steal from me, trying to steal my wallet. So you guys got to be careful right now because the scammers, they're at an all-time high, okay? So just be mindful. If anybody's coming into your emails... And saying that it's me requesting you to give them money or something like that. That is not me. I will never email you uh, for money or for a service unless you email me first, okay? All right. Heavily spying. Private eye. Somebody's heavily spying on you with a private eye. And this private eye is finding out that you are not doing the things they said you were doing. That this person paid a private eye to spy on you to try to see if they got some dirt on you to incriminate you. But you're not doing anything wrong. You're very responsible. All right. So you have a powerful spirit owl that sees all. Some of you guys could be seeing owls connected to a powerful spirit owl. Very intuitive. You could be creating your own online business or they're trying to stop you from having this online business. All right. They're heavily spying on you. Yeah. You're a powerful healer. 777. Seven, seven. You could be seeing those numbers. Somebody could be born in 77, 71. 72 78 all right sudden turn of events all right somebody could be born in the year 84 79 80 81 83 somebody could be born on those on the on those years somebody keeps getting readings on you because you're a powerful healer and this person doesn't want to accept the fact that you're a powerful healer and that you're very protected and that there's going to be a sudden turn of events and you're going to get your justice. And somebody here was pretending to be single at work or somebody's pretending to be single outside of the home. And they're in a whole relationship and they're cheating. All right. That's coming out to the light. There's a truth about your father that's coming out to the light. 
whoever you are, there's a major truth bomb that's coming about your real father or about your father figure and, and what they were up to and what they were a part of. Mm, you having a major awakening, seeing synchronicities, repeating numbers. Yeah, but this ex did create rumors about you and it's backfiring because they're sitting there with a karmic they're not happy with. Finding out that somebody new is coming into your life and that you will have real love. This ex wanted to block your love life. They wanted you to stay alone. They wanted you to see them in a relationship. But, but now that you're about to be in a relationship or you're dating someone new, this person is upset. And I can't believe this because you do deserve love. You do, you do love hard, okay? You are a loyal person. This person tried to make it seem like you wasn't, but you was. This person was dating this karmic when you guys were together. They were already sneaking around with that karmic. So they get what they deserve, all right? They made their bed, now they have to lie in it. And they have to watch you be happy with someone else. And there's a karmic male that's doing spell work here on you. They've been doing this for a while now, all right? This karmic warlock here. The, the success in business, your blockages are removed. Somebody wanted to block your business, I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, and for some of you guys, your ex was bisexual. That was a top secret. Meeting a powerful person, you're going to become a power couple. Or you're about to be a power couple. Brand new life and energy. Your ex slept with your cousin. Estate property and inheritance, they wanted to slow you down or they were involved in trying to steal this inheritance. They were, they had something to do with it. This is a dark empath male. Somebody's getting into a fight or altercation. Make sure you're not reacting. Somebody wants you to react. Or when you find out what your ex and your cousin did to you or your ex and this family member did to you, well, you're going to you're gonna want to fight this person. Please, Aries, don't fight this person. It is not worth it. You have a brand new life here that you're manifesting for yourself. Somebody wants you to be so upset and pressed about something. Somebody might even tell you something. All right, somebody is going to tell you something just because they want you to get upset. Just because they want to see you react. Just because they want you to fight them to get you locked up. This person held this secret for a long time, this family member, okay, that's up with your ex. Or this fake friend that's up with your ex, whoever this is. But they're going to want to say something to you and tell you about it. They want you to find out about it in order for you to get upset because this person can't get a reaction out of you. Because they've been doing the most. And they can't get you upset, all right? You're still unbothered. You're still happy. You're still free. Somebody's going to do something intentionally to get you so upset so you can fight them. This is a warning for somebody here, male or female. Don't do it. This person knows what they're doing. They're going to tell you something or have you find something out on purpose in order for them to get you caught up into some sort of fight or conflict or altercation here. Person is delusional. Yeah, they can't get your energy, so they're going to try to tell you something that they did or confess to something, or they're going to have somebody else tell you. It's, in order to get you upset, don't get upset. Don't be bothered. If this person is telling you, oh, I slept with your ex, okay, oh, well. You know, that person was a, a dark entity. That person was a karmic in your life. That ex wanted to destroy you. That ex had some sort of sex and uh, like sex addictions, all right? That ex tried to throw you under a bus. So if this person confesses to it, then who cares? Don't get upset about it. Don't let this person get the best of you. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, there might be a death in the family. My condolences. Somebody's sick or ill, okay? Um, you will get through this, Aries. If somebody passed away in your family, you will get through this. That That's going to be one of your angels watching over you um, in heaven. This is going to be somebody that you loved or you were close to that passed away. My condolences, all right? For somebody else, somebody could have passed away in your ex's family, all right? And you could be finding this out. This could be a mother figure, a father figure, or somebody's mother here had had gotten involved in your connection. Somebody's mother doesn't like you and they're trying to break up your relationship, or they did stand your ground with somebody. Somebody's very jealous and sneaky. Mm -hmm. They did the most. And they think everything you say is about them. Wow. Jealous ex. Yeah, you have a jealous ex that you need to stand your ground with. Okay? Because they're jealous. Because they're feeling some type of way. They're pressed. All right? That they were dealing with your cousin. I cannot make this up. These cards are flying out. I'm not pulling them out. They're flying out. All right? So your ex, your jealous ex and your cousin are feeling some type of way. All right? Mm. Yeah, because they were secret lovers. I cannot make this up. Oh my gosh, Aries, you guys probably already know about this. Your jealous ex and your cousin were having secret secret affairs, sneaky links behind the scenes. Now they're both under judgment. Somebody could be looking very old and frail, or somebody looks like they aged a lot. When you see this cousin or this ex, they look like they aged, like they aged a lot because of the spell work they were doing on you, and you look younger, you look good, you're glowing, like it doesn't add up. Like seriously, it doesn't add up. Yeah. You're attracting great fortune and wealth. And now this person has the nerve to say they still love you again? Like, stand your ground here, okay? Stand your ground. Because you have somebody new and they want to mess that up. 
or you're about to be with somebody new and they want to mess that up. Teamwork. Yeah, they was they was teaming up. Yep, they was. I heard Jason, Brian, Brianna, Lachey, Lashara. I heard Lana, Laura, Jessica. I heard Lucy or Rudy, Ruben. Damn. I heard Karen, the Six of Pentacles, is that you be re you are you're gonna be rewarded with something, okay? That a mother kept a secret, a mother kept uh hidden receipts and paperwork, or something about a mother here. A mother could have left you something, or a mother knew about something and didn't tell you. This is a mother figure. It doesn't have to be your mother. This could be a mother figure though, uh, and a brother, okay? A brother. The truth about a brother, jealous ex cousin, and a mother. Wow, this is all crazy. Yeah, and there's a judge here that's reviewing a situation or a judge that's stepping down and a new judge that's going to review this situation with this home, property, or inheritance or with the crimes that were done against you by these people. Toxic mother exposed, happy home, you get to live happily ever after. Successful business, you're moving away from somebody's home and, and, and blockages are being removed. Here, I heard Nancy, Frederick, or Fredo. I heard Fifi, somebody's dog or cat or animal could be Fifi. I heard Fifi. That's funny. And then Kiki. I also heard Kiki. Nikki. I heard Dakota. 